Hi traders, uh, Jay Trader here. So today we're gonna talk about how I predicted the long on BLNK, why I was very convinced of this long, uh, what are the uh, parameters to look uh, before you long. So BLNK over here, uh, right away this morning, nobody could find any news. The first thing I did was going on uh, BAMSIC, uh, look for filings. Over here, what can we see? 02-1420, SC-13GA, so institutional acquire a big stake of the company. And uh, this is always a bullish news. So let's go also look BLNK. We have a 63 million uh, market cap. We have a low percentage institutional ownership updated to yesterday. We have an 18 million float. And uh, this stock, in my tracking is because I track with stats. So I'm very uh, analytical in my trading. On the last 24 uh, gaps in the last two years, 70% uh, of these were failures the first day. Uh, but this news is different. So when BLNK has a strong catalyst, it tends to extend. This is Discord. So members can learn all the setups over here in Knowledge Base Room. Plus we have uh, videos, uh, trading lessons, day trading course, and mentoring on our website for the members. So in Boiler Room this morning, exactly over here, uh, posting everything at, uh, let's see together, exactly 9.05 over here. BLNK has an institutional purchase. Whenever we have this, SC13GA. We know some one big is buying, we'll check others. I never want to short against biggies, so I will look for dips to long on volume. This is the pre market. So news came out. We had an extension up up here, 309. And how to trade uh, institutional purchase? There are three phases. Um, I already posted on Twitter what these three phases are. We can see over here, uh, phase one. This phase is a trap short, is an accumulation, is formed by a low volume, holding dips. You can see that we know we never go lower than 245 over here. And this is where uh, basically the biggies don't want to uh, spike the volume up, don't want to spike the price, they want to still accumulate more. Second phase is this one over here. So we have a consolidation. After our accumulation, we start having a first breakout, increase of volume over here, still slow, but higher volume compared to the first phase. We have an accumulation, and you can see our J lines over here, all right, perfectly guide off our trade long. And this is the second zone where you want to long. And then we have the third zone that you can divide in two segments. This is called phase three, phase three A, where we have a breakout extension. You wanna be selling over here, pushing to the pre-market high. So this is the same setup, repeats over and over and over. And then we have the phase three B, basically double top. So we can see, let's uh, uh, mark it over here. We can see a first top, a second top, and then we have this trend line break, and then we have the fade. So in this area over here, when we break this uh, trend line, we wanna be sellers of the second part of our trade. So this is a simple recap of how to trade long uh, institutional uh, purchase. It was a great week. A lot of members closed the week plus 5K, uh, three members in a mentoring class close a week plus 10k. Um, I personally had uh, less win percentage this week, uh, closing only 40%. Uh, three days green, two days red. Uh, thanks to risk management, I was able to close for 10R plus, but definitely looking to trade uh, the third and fourth week of February uh, as best as I can, selecting trades, risk management, and focusing only my setups. Thank you very much and see you next time.